Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be a purple smoky eye with a lot of flutter and a lot of glowiness. So this look was definitely inspired by, um, painted by Esther and Mahina Makeup on Instagram. I've been loving how they do their makeup. I'm going to try and recreate that in this look. So starting off with a bare face, I'm going to kind of whisk through my foundation routine because I do have a video on my foundation, highlight and contour routine. So I don't want to spend too much time on that. But here I'm just contouring and bronzing. I'm using this brush from Laura Mercier which is perfect for nose contouring. So now I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. I'm using my foundation as a base and then I'm going to go over the top of that with my Laura Mercier powder to set it in place and that's going to prevent it from creasing. This is just a good alternative if you don't have um, an eyeshadow base. But if you do have an eyeshadow base you can definitely skip this step and just use your eyeshadow base instead. So to create this look, I'm using my Urban Decay palette. It's the Christine Leanne palette. And I'm going to take the burnt orange colour in that palette and I'm going to place that on my crease. I'm taking the high up into my crease um, and I'm using a big fluffy brush. This is from B Makeup. You can get it in Super Jug. I love this brush. It's probably one of my favourite brushes for blending out crease colour. And then I'm taking the purple colour in that palette and I'm using my finger to pack that all over my eyelid. Going really close to the inner corner and really high up above the crease of my eye. Um, I want to create kind of like a round shape to my eyeshadow um, and yeah I'm just taking my time patting going over it until I get the desired look okay so once that's done I'm gonna put my MAC mix and medium liner all over my lid you want to be careful with this product because if you put too much it can actually do the opposite of what it's supposed to do and it can make your eyeshadow crease but I'm basically tapping a blue glitter on top of it. You can't really see it for some reason. It wasn't really working out how I wanted it to work out, but I tapped a blue glitter on top of the purple just to add a little bit of sparkle. And now I'm going back in with that orange color and I'm buffing out the edges. Okay, so this is when I started putting the glitter on. Um, yeah, you still can't really see it that much, but it did add a little bit of pizzazz to the look. So yeah, I'm gonna tap that on top with my index finger and then I'm going to buff that out. Now I'm taking a liner and I'm just creating a really simple line. It doesn't have to be anything too perfect, too neat. I'm not winging it out because I'm going to be smudging it later because I want to create like a diffused um, smoky eye. So it's not really, really smoky, but like all the colours kind of blend into one. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm diffusing that liner with that eyeshadow. And the brush that I'm using is a Zoeva brush. It's really good for smudging. So with that black eyeshadow, you kind of want to pull the liner upwards. Um, and smudge it into both the liner and the eyeshadow if that kind of makes sense so you want to use like a pull-in effect kind of movement thing <laughs> so yeah you'll find that once you're doing this you're probably going to lose some eyeshadow so you want to go back in and blend and add on any eyeshadow or any um, pigment that you've lost whilst blending so that's what I'm doing here so once that's done, I'm going to put some mascara on. The mascara that I'm using today is the By Terry Mascara. And then I'm going to put some lashes on. It was a bit of a struggle, so I did it off camera. And then I'm going to go over my liner just to neaten everything up. So here I'm taking my NARS eyeliner and I'm putting that on my bottom lash line and then I'm going to smoke it out with a brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to go underneath that with the purple eyeshadow I have on my lid. Okay, so I wanted most of the focus to be on my eyes, so I don't want to, I didn't want to do too much with my cheeks. So I'm bronzing up with a buxom bronzer. It's not really putting a lot of color on, it's just kind of adding a little bit of a glow kind of you can't really see it to my cheeks now I'm taking my sports effects um, bronzer and I'm using this fluffy brush from my kit coat this brush is amazing it's so soft and it buffs out color really really well so I'm kind of bronzing up my forehead my cheeks my nose just to add a little bit of color to my face oh and I'm also taking that bronzer all the way down to my neck um, and I kind of mixed it in with my face powder to set my foundation as well. So now I'm taking the tiniest bit of blush and I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks just to add a little bit of colour to my face. 
Um, and then for um, highlighter, I'm using my Makeup Addiction highlighter. I'm kind of like working it into my cheeks, like kind of buffing it into my cheeks. So like the glow isn't really like a blinding glow, but you can see it when it catches the light. So that's kind of what I'm trying to achieve here. And I'm also gonna put a little bit on my nose as well. So the reason I'm doing this is just to create like a diffuse look. So everything kind of diffuses into one and you can't really see where one thing like starts with the other stops, so yeah. Next, I'm moving on to my lips, and I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. I kind of use this as a base because, as you can see, my lips are actually quite dark, so I kind of use this to mute out my lips. Then I'm going to take my Blankety Lipstick by MAC, and I'm going to put that all over my lips, even over where I put the liner, well, liner, and I'm going to buff that out. Then I'm going to put a little bit of, um, I think it was caramel from the Fenty Matchstick in the middle, just to add more of like a skin-like effect. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with a gloss from NARS. <laughs> Back to the eyes, I'm adding some mascara on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to add some falsies on my bottom lash line as well. I basically just grabbed an old pair of eyelashes that I didn't really use and cut, cut it into pieces and placed it on my bottom lash line. And I was quite careful with how I did this. I spread it out a lot. I just wanted to put three on each eye. But looking at it now, I kind of wish I put a little bit more. But hey ho. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And then to get the glow on my skin, I'm going to use some coconut oil and put that all over my body. Um, I try to create like ugh, the same kind of effect as the NARS Manoy, Manoy oil, but it didn't really work out. As you can see on my face, I wasn't really feeling it. So yeah, just get the Manoy oil because it's really good. And then I'm going to set that all in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I'm going to quickly top up my lips with some gloss. And after that, I think we're done. So here's the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed i hope you got something out of it and yeah leave your comments down below and let me know what you think let me know also if you have any requests that you'd like me to do any looks um and definitely check out mahina and esther they're amazing artists and i love their work so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon in my next video bye guys